Is the biblical historical account affected by introducing the concept of millions of years? Well, let's find out more right now on Wonders Without Number. So, does it matter whether or not we accept millions of years or billions of years would be more accurate? Uh, I mean, that's not, is it a gospel issue? It's not a salvation issue. Okay. Okay, we come to Christ, you know, it doesn't say believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and that he was raised from the dead and six day creation. <laughs> that's and not, it's not saved. a salvation issue. Okay. But it is a gospel issue. Okay. Because the, the book of Genesis, especially the first couple chan chapters, is the foundation mm -hmm. for the gospel. And so it's, a, you know, some people, well, you know, it's a minor issue, you know, major on the majors and minor on the minors. Mm -hmm. Most of the time I hear that they don't have them. <laughs> I think they have them mixed up. Okay. But it's a major issue because it directly affects the gospel. Okay. And it needs to be part of our foundational uh, biblical worldview. And the biggest problem is that if you have millions of years, then you have death before sin. Okay. And yet the gospel, and yet chapter three of Genesis very clearly shows us that man's sin brought death. And death is the penalty of sin. Okay. And if death is not the penalty of sin, then why did Christ die? If it's a natural process right. that brought about everything, then how, why did Christ have to die?